Hello guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this uh, problem from chapter 8. That is friction. And the problem says that the block brake is used to stop the wheel from rotating when the wheel is subjected to a couple moment of MO. If the coefficient of static friction between the wheel and the block is mu s, determine the smallest force p that should be applied so we have to find the smallest force p in terms of these uh, dimensions and in terms of this mo that is the couple so in order to solve this we have to consider this uh, handle and this wheel separately right since this handle is applying the braking force on this wheel and as a reaction this wheel is applying the force on this handle so in order to stop this wheel uh, the stopping force need to be in this direction since the wheel is rotating in the counterclockwise direction so we have to apply the force the friction force in the opposite direction so let me show that here we will have the friction force which is going to act towards the right and this is let's say represented by small f and similarly, uh, if, if this handle is applying the force on this wheel in this direction, that is the friction force. So as a reaction, this wheel is applying the same small f force on this handle, but that will be in the opposite direction. So we will have that small f force on the handle as well. And that will be acting somewhere here. Let's see. Similarly, uh, this handle is going to apply the normal force on this wheel as well. That will be in the downward direction. So let me show that normal force. So the normal force is going to act in this direction. And similarly, uh, the same normal force is going to be applied by this wheel on that handle as well. Is a reaction, right? Since So this will be the normal force on the handle. So, as we know that the friction force is equal to mu s time n, since the coefficient of static friction between the wheel and the block is mu s, so we can write that this small f is equal to mu s time n, and this is also equal to mu s time n. Now, on the handle, uh, somewhere here is the force applied, which is required. So, we have to show that force P that P is acting somewhere here on the handle. So, and here we have that point C somewhere here. And at C we will have the, since at C we have the pin support. Here we have the pin support. So here we will have two reaction forces. So here we will have the horizontal support, let's say that is Cx and here we will have Cy. And let's assume that this is our positive x and this is our positive y direction. So since uh, we are going to stop the wheel uh, and in, to have the smallest force p in order to stop this wheel, uh, we will apply the equilibrium condition. Since in order to stop this wheel, the system will be in equilibrium. So first of all, we will consider the handle for equilibrium. So I will write handle. So for handle, we will apply the summation of moment about point C that will be equals to zero if the system is in equilibrium and the counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive. So now as we can see that on the handle, this P force is producing the, this P force is producing the counterclockwise moment. So I will write, that will be positive. So we will write P and the perpendicular distance of this p from that point c is a this is a which is given here so the moment arm of this p from that point c is a so i will multiply this p with a similarly this uh, friction force this small f is producing uh, the moment about that point c in the clockwise direction so we will write minus and small f is mu s times n 
and the perpendicular distance between the friction force and point C is this small c. So the friction force is acting somewhere here. So the distance between the, the perpendicular distance between the friction force and that point C is this small c. So we will multiply this friction force with small c. So this is small c. So this is mu s n times c. And similarly, this normal force is producing the clockwise moment as well about point C. So we will write minus N and the perpendicular distance of this N from that point C is B. Here it is given that this is B. So we will multiply this N with small b and this will be equals to 0. So now from this we can write that minus mu s and c minus n b this is equal to minus p a and from both these terms we can take minus n as common so let me write minus n so we will have we will remove this minus this minus and here this will become positive so if we take minus n common so this minus n so mu s c and plus b and we have this p a on the other side with the negative sign so now the negative sign will cancel out so and if we divide both side of equation by mu s c plus b mu s c plus b so we will have this will cancel out and we will have n equals to p a let me write it is p pl uh, b plus mu s c so now this will be the normal force and it will depend on the applied force now again for we have to find this force p uh, which will be the smallest force v in order to stop this wheel so for that we have to consider the wheel as well And again for wheel we have to apply the summation of moment about point O that will be equals to zero and the counterclockwise moment is positive. So since this MO is couple, so a couple is a free vector, we can write it directly. So MO is acting in the counterclockwise direction, so we will write plus MO. And this friction force is producing the clockwise moment. So I will write minus and the friction force is mu s times n. And the moment arm of this friction force about this point O is this radius of the wheel. So we will multiply this with R. And this will be equal to 0 since the line of action of this N is passing to that point O. So the perpendicular distance of this normal force from that point O is 0. So it's not going to produce the moment about that point O. So now from this equation we can write that minus mu s n into r is equal to mo and from this we can write that uh, this will become minus and minus will cancel out so from this we can write that n uh, is equal to if we divide both side of equation by mu s into r so that will be mo divided by so this way this will cancel out and we will be left with n so this is the normal force in terms of MO. So now we know that N is equal to this. So we can replace N with PA divided by B plus mu SC, uh, which will be equal to MO divided by mu SR. And since we want to have that P, so for P, we need to cross multiply this and this A. So we will have MO divided by mu S R into A into B plus mu S C. So this equation will give us the smallest P, uh, the external force that is applied to stop that wheel. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibla Statics.